In today's video, I want to show you how to create a nonogram puzzle book online without installing any software. First, let's see what are the best sellers in this niche. So go to amazon.com and search for nonogram puzzle books. As you can see, there are around 600 results, which means this is a low competition niche. I usually recommend that if you don't want to pay for ads, start with a niche with less than 1000 competitors. So this is one of those niches that you can easily start with. You can also use nonograms as a part of your adult activity or puzzle books like this one, which has different types of puzzles in just one book. Based on the bestsellers rank, this book is the best in this niche with a bestsellers rank of 80668 This book's price is $24.99, it has 316 page and has a bestsellers rank of 80668 To find out how many sales this author had in the last 30 days, I'm using a website called TCK Publishing. I enter the bestsellers rank and as you can see it gives you the number of sales per day and per month. Now we need to see how much royalty this author is earning for each sale. Like always I'm using iamtoolbox.com. You can find the link for these two websites in the description section. If you fill in the information you can see this author is earning $10.35 for each sale as royalty. And if you multiply the number of sales and each book's profit, you can see this author in the last 30 days earned around $610 just from this one book. The amount may not seem super high, but as I always say, you can have a couple of easy books with lower income and build up your monthly income. Before we continue, if you enjoyed this video so far, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you are not familiar with nonograms, nonogram puzzles also known as Picross, Hengi or Grid Layers are picture logic puzzles in which cells in a grid must be colored or left blank according to numbers at the side of grid to reveal a hidden picture. The puzzle itself will look like this and this is after you solve the puzzle. The online tool we are going to use today is a free nonogram generator with MIT license. You can find the link to this website down in the description. With MIT license, you can use the service for free even for commercial use. So to create a nonogram, first we need an image. I played around with this tool before recording this video and I figured the generator best works with simple silhouette images like this one. So what I suggest and what I did for my own puzzles is to go to a website like Creative Fabrica and download a bundle of silhouette images like this one. This way you don't have to search for the image one by one and you can also create themed puzzle books. For example, this one would have lots of great images for a puzzle book for kids with Halloween theme. For your convenience, I'll add the link down below. Once you select your image, go to iamtoolbox.com and search for nonogram. In this page, click on this gray box to select your image or just drag and drop your image in this gray box and you should see the puzzle beneath it in a fraction of a second. As you can see, the generator automatically generates the puzzle for you. On top, we have pixel size, width, height, and show. These two obviously change the width and height of the puzzle. With puzzle size, you can decide how detailed your puzzle is. The lower pixel size means your puzzle is more complicated and more detailed. And as you increase the pixel size, it's less detailed and easier to solve the puzzle. As you can see, the puzzle is almost perfect 
and ready to download, but is just almost perfect. So there are some places like this that should be removed and some places that we need to add like here. If you take a look at this section under how can I modify the nonogram, it says to add a black square, you can simply click on the square and to remove a section, press Alt and then click on the square. And if you change the pixel size or size of the puzzle on top, all of your modifications will be removed. So first make sure you have the right size and right pixel size and then remove or add to your puzzle. Once you're happy with your puzzle, download the nonogram and then change the view to puzzle from here and download it again. That's it, your puzzle is ready. Now that our first puzzle is ready, let's create our first page. For that, I use Canva website. You can use Word, PowerPoint, or anything else that you use to. Drag and drop both of your puzzle and solution here and place your puzzle where you like. Based on the size of your puzzle and the size of your page, you may fit one or more puzzle in a single page. Now for the title, you can either don't use any title to make it harder to guess the pattern, use a word for the title like cat or paw, or use clues like this. This way you're not giving away the answer and it's more fun. You're probably asking where to get the clues. Well, good news is to save you the time, I already did my research and found a website that will help you with this. Like always, you can find the link down below. To find the clue, all you're going to do is to type the word here and search. Click on the orange box and under the clue section, you will find the clue, which you can use as your title. For solution page, fit as much puzzle as you can. Remember, to reduce your printing costs, you need to be cautious about page number. Lower page number will give you the freedom to decrease the price to compete with other competitors or to have higher royalties. As you can see, it won't take that long for you to create a puzzle book. But your job is not quite done here. The key to success in KDP publishing is the right keyword selection and the right ad campaign. And don't worry, I got both of them covered for you. If you want to get more information about ads on Amazon, check out my video on the description section and also check out my Gumroad shop for nonogram keywords and some free puzzles. Keep in mind all keywords and paid assets are free for Patreons.